Hello, welcome to your latest Met Office update, a cold feel for the next few days and nights. Cold enough, potentially, for things to turn a little icy as the rain clears away. And there is a band of rain swinging across most places through the night. That's from this weather front, which is ousting our area of high pressure, which has been in control for a while now. But this weather front bringing cloud and some outbreaks of rain and so perhaps most importantly, some colder air. Now, the rain is increasing across western Scotland, Northern Ireland, spreading into northern England and Wales too, and drifting towards the Midlands. East Anglia in the southeast may see a shower or two here, but generally it's a dry night. And then as the wet weather clears, as I said, it could just turn a little icy. And certainly the showers across western Scotland will turn wintry with snow on the hills as temperatures drop down close to freezing, even in towns and cities. Not quite as cold further south, but it will feel cold on Tuesday morning with outbreaks of rain and temperatures only 5 or 6 degrees Celsius. That rain will slowly creep towards East Anglia and the southeast, although rush hour here may be dry. And then following on, there'll be some sunshine, but there will be showers. Those showers, particularly for Northern Ireland, southwest Scotland, will have hail and some sleet and snow over relatively small hills. Through the day, it's then a case of seeing the showers pushing that rain away. But notice that rain doesn't really clear from East Anglia and the south. It's got a soggy afternoon here. Elsewhere, there will at least be some sunny spells between the showers, but uh, don't be expecting that sunshine to lift the temperatures. These are the top values, 7, 8, 9, maybe up to 10 Celsius. It's going to feel cold on Tuesday. And as we go through Tuesday evening, more showers spiralling into Northern Ireland. Still, again, here, some hail, sleet and snow over the hills. And we may well see the wet weather pushing back into parts of eastern England and eastern Scotland as we go into Wednesday. And it's going to be a cold night where we've got clear skies. There will be a touch of frost uh, as we go into Wednesday morning. Rural areas certainly getting below freezing. These are the temperatures in towns and cities. So uh, even some of the major conurbations not far off freezing as we start Wednesday. And certainly in the countryside, minus two, minus three, maybe minus four or minus five in a few places. So again, a frosty start to Wednesday. Again, there'll be outbreaks of rain across eastern parts of England, maybe eastern Scotland, and a strong cold wind blowing here too. Elsewhere, it'll be a case of showers again, so there'll be some brighter spells and a hint or two of sunshine. But uh, again, temperatures are really going to struggle on Wednesday. You'll really notice the difference. Last week, we were talking temperatures in the mid-teens, mid-single figures in places on Wednesday, and feeling colder on those North Sea coasts with that pretty bitter wind blowing. It doesn't get much warmer through the rest of the week either. In fact, it's going to be uh, cold throughout the week, perhaps getting a little bit less cold as we go towards the weekend. More showers to come as well and often quite blustery. A full week ahead forecast available on our YouTube channels or why not, for more information, follow us on Twitter and Facebook.